What I'm going to show you how to do today is how to build an extension for your shortwave radio antenna. And what this extension will do, which is just a wire really with an alligator clip, it will help you get much better reception for shortwave signals which are very weak signals which come from very far away. And this will help increase the reception of your radio which will give you better clarity and improve the quality of the signals that you receive. Now the idea for this antenna I had gotten from this book here which is the Passport to World Band Radio and this book is basically like a TV guide for shortwave radios and it has all different types of things about shortwave radio listening it has reviews for shortwave radios and then it rates them on a four or five star scale and it rates all different types between handhelds and portables and desktop shortwave radios so if you're looking to get involved more in shortwave radio and listening I would suggest purchasing this book it's about twenty twenty five dollars on Amazon now there's really only four things that you need to build this antenna you need a piece of wire I would suggest something five to six feet long and this is a 28 or a 32 gauge wire and then you also need an alligator clip you can usually pick these up at Radio Shack for usually they have them about ten for a dollar fifty or ten for two dollars you could also use a paper clip as a substitute to this but I'm not going to show you how to use that um, I'm just going to do the demonstration with the alligator clip and then you need a piece of side angle cutters to strip the wire and then a pair of needle nose pliers to uh, crimp the clip and this is going to be one of the easiest projects you can ever do so let's get started okay so what you're going to do is you're going to take your wire like so and then you're going to take your side angle cutters and then you're going to come around and strip the wire now to many of you this will seem extremely basic but I want to make sure that everyone that's watching this is on the same page and then now it's stripped so you see the copper there what I like to do is twist this a little bit so it keeps it clean and together and then I take it then I take the alligator clip. Now with this alligator clip, there's a little hole, you can see that. And what I like to do is to come up under the hole like this, or under the clip, and then bend the wire over, my fingers in the way, like so, and then bend it back. And then there's these two ears, which you can see. And then we're going to take those, and then we're going to bend the ears over the wire so it gets crimped so it's nice and tight if I can just get around here it's very easy to do very easy to do this alligator clip's been used once before so it's a little torn up and then what I like to do is just bump the camera I like to bend this up a little bit, like so. And you can see. And then you trim the excess wire off. And then that's it. And then you have an antenna. And there's really no other parts that you need for this. What you can do if you want is you can make a loop out of this, which I do sometimes, and then I hang it from a branch or whatever and that allows you to get much better reception so you can take it like so and then you can turn it around like this and make a knot and then you get a loop very basic stuff and then you have a loop like so Okay, now I'm going to show you how much this antenna extension improves the reception 
of your shortwave radio. Now one thing about shortwave is that you're going to pick up more stations better with better clarity usually after 2 p.m. Uh, in the United States typically. Um, I'm not sure exactly what, what reason that is but you're going to find that out as you experiment. So it's just something to keep in mind but here I am it's not even noon and I'm going to try to pick up some stations. There's not too many that are broadcasting right now. But this radio, I picked it up about two years ago. It's a Sanjian SG622. It's just a regular analog radio. I think I paid about $50 for it. Um, so it's pretty reasonable. The reception has improved considerably with this antenna extension. So all you're going to do is you're going to take the alligator clip and then you're going to clip it to the antenna, preferably at the top and or towards the top. Um, but first I'm going to turn it on and you're going to hear it without the wire attached to it and the station that I have tuned is some foreign one, it's not in English, but it's, uh, it'll give you an idea of the of, uh, of the reception, so See, there's a little red light at the top it should be right there, but it's not tuning because or it's not clear because the signal is weak now when I put this this wire extension, this antenna extension at the top I'm going to clip it along here close to the top and then you can see the red light is on now and you can hear the better clarity until it snaps off now I have it towards the top So that's with the antenna, and then without, without, and then with, and that's the antenna. So you're going to find that it can improve your reception by as much as 50%, and uh, like I said, being indoors does, uh, does a lot to degrade the the signals that you're going to receive. So it's definitely worth building, especially if you're going to go to the trouble and the expense of buying a shortwave radio. Go ahead and make yourself one of these. If you make several of them at a time, you could probably make them for as little as maybe 15, 20 cents a piece. So it's well worth it. And the longer the antenna you make, the better reception you're going to get. So definitely keep that in mind. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.